Good morning. The name of this place is called Land Offering. Probably nothing like that. But anyway, it's the town or village just before we start the pass. But honestly, I just thought we stopped for a pastry. It's really, really pretty. Let me just show you, look. Look at some of these shops. Sunday lunch for £10. Wow. We were just desperately trying to find like a cup of coffee, a pastry quickly before we went. We started the path because we thought I didn't get to eat yet. We have just travelled about an hour. Now we're on stay really. We're shopping. Land of The Berry.
I love coming to places like this, away from it all, to be able to see for miles and miles. We are so fortunate, not only to be here, to have our health, our darling Ramona to carry us along, that there is no rain at this precise moment in time. To be honest, the third pass in three days, I expected our luck to run out. The Black Mountains hold such wonderful memories for me. I used to come here in my twenties, actually to the Vale of the Neath, just over yonder. Hidden among the mountains are rivers and waterfalls under a forest of enchanted trees. Before the internet, my friends and I would arrive at midnight and wander off to wild camp for a few days at a time. We hardly ever saw folks in those days in the mountains back then. Nowadays it's like a theme park in that area. There are guided walks and signs everywhere. You can be taken on tours and get a wetsuit and a helmet to jump off the cliffs into the pools under the waterfalls. We just magically found them ourselves and thought we were the first people to have ever laid eyes on them. We got stoned, drunk and tripped our time away, singing songs and jumping off the top of the waterfall into the icy pools below. We built a fire in a cave behind a waterfall one night and sang songs till dawn. There was a huge tree falling over a wide section on the river with wild rapids underneath. We grabbed ourselves a staff and had jewels on the log, Robin Hood style, knocking one's opponent into the rushing river six foot below. It absolutely sounds like a mad dream now, but there was a time, and man, that time was golden. So thinking of you, Clifty, and remembering your smile, brother. I fancied taking Lisa back there today, but I know what it's like now, and it will leave me too melancholy. So I'll hold myself back, and we'll head home. I can't spoil a memory so dear to me. Wow's now, are we? Oh, that fucking scorching. We're at a place called High Beach. Um, you got oversee London there. Oh my god. See Epping. How you feeling? Battered. 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 Every part of my body hurts. We just done about five hours, aren't we? To be honest, the first three just on the M4, happy days, traffic not too heavy, mows. I was happy, but I just the minute we hit the M25 again, just on and off standstill. What do you think of the M25? I hate it. I said to Mark, I'm never doing that again. If we go on long journeys. We've got to leave at like five in the morning. Yeah, well, Chris Rear says about it. What? Oh. It's a road to hell. It is. 
He's a motel. And the thing is, because it was raining and it was cold and wild. Do you know how Chris Weir said it's a road to hell? Yeah, this is the road to hell. <laughs> oh, it's so many layers of them. I've got a vest on. I've got my knocks at base there. Yeah. I've got a jumper on. I've got my Knox um, motorbike jacket. I had a puffer on and a waterproof, and then we've hit Essex. And it's scorching. But and it going... was quite cold when we left Wales, wasn't it? Yeah. We're always up in the mountains, so I think up in the mountains it just gets chilly. But anyway, we're nearly home. We, sc we couldn't do, I couldn't do any more motorway. Spain trip, we're not doing motorways. I mean, we've got to do a motorway yeah. to Plymouth. In Spain, don't get any. But we're not doing motorways. We're no motorways in Spain. We're just going to we're going to cut through Epping Forest on the way home, and then cruise down one seven, and hopefully be home soon. getting back that was a tough day I'm happy we've done that um, good job we got up so early to do that Black Mountain Pass look here where we live though this has got to be the hottest place in the UK the unseen sun's always out love Wales beautiful mountains beautiful waterfalls beautiful roads beautiful emptiness beautiful weather. We don't get enough of it. If they had this weather, it'd be the best place in the world. Call it fun, I call it pain 